On this week's Joint of the Week, we're gonna do these rainbow inlaid dovetails. Now, this is not my idea. This is a really good friend of mine named Ursus Woodshop. Uh, he's got a really, really cool Instagram and YouTube. I'm gonna link them below. Please go check them out. Uh, he sent me the veneers for this, and this was like a cool collaboration between the two of us. He just did the 30-day dovetail challenge, where he did 30 dovetails in 30 days. And not only did he improve from okay to phenomenal, but he produced some of the most creative dovetails I've ever seen. So go check him out. He's linked below and in the pinned comment. Great stuff. Uh, so let's get into the build. We're going to glue up some veneers. So the first step, obviously, is we need to make our colored piece. And I really want this to look like a rainbow. I thought Cam's version of this was just so cool. So uh, the best thing to use is melamine because glue is not going to stick to that. But if you don't have melamine, just some clear packing tape over some plywood is going to work great. Just the trick is whatever you use, you want it to be really flat because that's just going to help you in the end. You're not going to have to try and reshape it or make it flat. So we're going to go ahead and just spread glue. Make sure when you're doing this that it's nice and even. You don't want it too thick because you don't want to create like bubbly pockets in it. Just a nice thin layer. I'm going to use a spreader to spread it and then we're going to go ahead and clamp it up. Okay, so with that glue up, basically what we did was create plywood out of our maple veneers. And then I forgot to shoot it, but I sliced it all lengthwise and then flipped everything 90 degrees and glued it back up. In fact, here's a dramatic reenactment. Okay, so that's how I, I glued that up, and I'm sure Mark made it super dramatic. So uh, now we're gonna mill these up. Uh, we're gonna mill them to the same width. You want them to be flat and square. And then I'm gonna leave my veneer a little bit wider than my walnut because that's gonna allow for a little bit of a better looking inlay, both inside and out of the board. So let's head over and mill these up. Okay, so now the key to all inlaid dovetails is your first rabbit. And usually what I would do is do a very shallow rabbit because that's gonna give me a very thin line around my piece. But because we really wanna showcase this really cool veneer, uh, I'm actually gonna go a lot deeper. I'm gonna do a third in, and that's gonna give us a really cool rainbow outline that is visible and not overpowering. So uh, the way that I do that is I take my marking gauge, I mark in the depth, and then I would mark it out like you would normally dovetails where you do the width of the board and do that around. And then I'm gonna use what's uh, known as a, uh, you want a flat bottom tooth blade. We're gonna use the new Cat's Moses stop block, which is not on pre-sale anymore because it is here. They are shipping daily, they're super awesome. Uh, we'll have a video out next week on all the features of that, but it's really cool. I highly suggest you pick one up. Uh, so let's get this rabbit cut, and then we're gonna go over and cut our first set of pins and pins. Okay, so I'm gonna do layout a little bit different here because I want the tail in the middle to be the biggest and decrease going both ways. I think that'll create like a really cool 3D effect. So I've identified my middle location and then I'm gonna go ahead and go, I'm gonna start by going three eighths on either side of that middle line and that'll be my center tail. 
and then I'm going to decrease it by an eighth going out each way. And then we'll see where they finish there at the end. So we're going to go just three eighths either way and decrease by eighth of an inch. Okay, so now that we have this flush trimmed off and cleaned up, uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut our next set of pins and tails. Now, what you wanna do here is match this thickness of the back inlay, and this is the size of your rabbit. So we're going to go ahead and mark it all out, and remember that we left this walnut a little bit shorter, and the reason that we did that is for the interior of this joint, we're also gonna have rainbow, so the inlay will not only go all the way around, but it'll be on the inside of the box. Uh, when you give it to somebody, that's a detail they'll notice that is super cool. Um, and again, typically I would make this a lot thinner, but because we really wanna showcase the rainbow pattern, we've left it thicker, so we're gonna go thicker out here. Um, I think on mine that is exactly 3 16th, so then I'll just take a ruler and mark out my tails 3 16 in, and we'll go ahead and give these a cut. It came out incredible. This is what Joint of the Week's about. It was about doing fun, creative stuff and, you know, experimenting. Uh, these are skateboard veneers from Roar Rocket. They'll be linked below. Thank you to Ursus Woodshop for giving me this idea. Uh, go, make sure you go check out his YouTube and his Instagram. I think he just released a video on his 30 day dovetail challenge. It's cool and it kind of opens up my eyes a little bit. I'm gonna, I think maybe do some more themed dovetails on different holidays. And I think it's just tons of fun. Really, really cool. So uh, guys, thanks for watching. Stay safe in the shop. If you're new here, please subscribe and have a wonderful day.